Hey, good evening everyone and welcome to the video. Thank you for joining in uh, for this video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use Kinesis Firehose to deliver data to the data lake faster. I'll be also talking about dynamic partition in this video. So for people who don't know me, hey guys, I'm Saumil. I love uh, essentially creating contents on YouTube. I've been teaching people about AWS Lambda, SQS, uh, you know, uh, then uh, S3, uh, essentially bad jobs, event bridge, and a lot more. There are a lot of services that I have taught uh, to the people on my YouTube channel. This video will uh, focus on AWS Kinesis Firehose and to deliver data. Followed by a small theory, we have a lab, which will help you to understand the concepts even better. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started straight into action, guys. All right. One slide, definition, then we go into action, okay? Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose is a fully managed service for delivering real-time streaming data to the destinations such as S3, uh, Athena Redshift, Amazon OpenSearch, Splunk, and any custom HTTP endpoints or HTTP endpoints owned by a supported third-party service provider, including Datadog, Dynetrace, Logic Monitor, Mongo, and new uh, Relic and um, Asumo Logic. Kinesis Data Firehose is a part of Kinesis a streaming data platform along with Kinesis Data Stream, Kinesis Video Streams, and Kinesis Data Analytics. All right, Samuel, enough of theory. Show me something, man. All right, all right, all right. As I said, right, uh, all my videos are always followed by a lab, so let's get started, okay? So I have a fire hose. Uh, I would be deleting that uh, so that I can teach you, right? But before that, I have uh, stuff in the bucket, so, or you know what, I can... Uh, essentially put it into this bucket so let me delete things and then i can actually show you a small demo and uh don't worry about the code code is there so you always you can copy paste the code uh try try this out in order to learn it is what i would um you know recommend but uh yeah so but remember it might take a little while to dump the data depending upon the buffer interval but let's let's start okay Let, let's just start some all right, so the source, uh, this can receive data from data stream or direct put. Direct put means you're directly inserting data into the firehose, okay? So firehose is like a pipeline. The pipeline essentially connects to some source, right? Uh, sorry, the, the pipeline connects to some destination, right? For example, S3 is one of the destination. Open search is a destination. Redshift, so these are the different destination you can put data. It's essentially acting like a pipe, which essentially takes data from one side and dumps the data on the other side. That's what it is, right? Don't complicate things further. So we do a direct put destination, I'm selecting S3. As you can see, very easy interface. Um, and then here, delivery stream name, uh, we can say learn. I'm just putting on a very simple name here. Uh, so we'll do that. So uh, I'll cover this option in a detail transform because then we can add Lambda transformation. That's, I'm gonna cover that, so don't worry for this video, okay? Uh, so I'll skip this part for now, but I'll keep moving down. Uh, destination settings, so uh, what I wanna do here is I wanna enable dynamic partition, and I'll show you in a second. So I'm gonna be dumping into this bucket. Uh, I don't wanna click that, I wanna select this one. Now, guys, I wanna essentially enable dynamic partition. Uh, Samil, what do you mean by all these, man? Explain me. Okay, fine, I'll explain you. So I have a very simple data and I have to show you the data first. Has name, phone number, city address, and customer ID. So what I wanna do guys is, you know, like customer ID, for, for any customer ID is equal to one, I wanna partition it, so all the records should go here. So, so this will be file one, file two, and then similarly for any any customer ID that has a record too, I want the files to go there, right? This is called partition, right? Essentially helps you to uh, scan, it reduces the number of scan, right? You, you So essentially instead of scanning everything, partition helps you to, if you wanna scan that particular customer, you say, hey, give me all the customer one. It helps you, right, uh, to save cost. So, you know, I, I'm gonna show you a demo, right? So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm saying that, hey, um, Firos dump dump the data to this uh, S3, okay? Then I'm saying enable dynamic partition. So then you wanna click on new line, new line delimited. I'm gonna click on enabled inline JSON parsing. We're gonna say yes. And here they have given beautiful example, right? So I'm gonna select customer ID. They have shown you how you have to do it. So for example, in my JSON, I have a customer ID. And this is in the outer directory, so I can access that using a dot operator. They have given you examples, so uh, you can refer them, right? So I'm saying that, now I'm saying that, hey, Firehose, deliver my data to, the, to S3 in a folder called data, and then partition my data using this format. So I'm saying customer ID, 
the operator partition key from query and the customer id so the actual value of the customer right so i'm gonna say hey firos do it in this format okay um, click on apply dynamic partition keys and all the error please dump it into an error folder so i'll reduce this for now so that we can actually see things because it takes time for the firos to deliver data right a uh, buffer interval uh, i'm gonna make it small the default i think is 64 megabytes we'll put it 65 megabytes uh, this i'll change it to 120 seconds uh, i'll leave the compression now i don't want to do that but i'll just create the firos okay very simple uh, nothing complicated here uh, as i said uh, as you can see, I do not have any data in the bucket. And at this point, my uh, Kinesis Firos has been created. So I can come here and now I'm going to copy this. And what I'm going to do, I have a very simple script. And as I said, don't worry, I'll put the script down. So all I'm doing is I'm publishing a lot of records at a rapid rate. So I'm, 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 I'm simulating a, a, that some producer are going to produce messages at a very, very rapid rate. Okay. So I am going to start the produce the uh, firos uh, as you can see guys we are rapidly dumping data to the firos at this point and i'm putting a lot of records in and remember you can also do threading massively you're putting data into the firos right so i'm gonna run it again multiple times i just want to show you how things work so you can follow along with the exercise and uh, learn right so as you can see we are publishing events rapidly we are putting in data to the firos now remember it's gonna we have enabled dynamic partition which which gives us an ability to die which gives us an ability to partition the data this is absolutely great right uh, so uh, still no data yet um, and as i said it depends upon the buffer interval and um, the size of the uh, that you set right in the settings so i'm gonna wait for a couple of more minutes and just try to dump more and more data i ideally have to wait for 120 seconds because that's the setting that i have used uh, in my code, nothing crazy. I'm using a faker library. Of course, this will be an environment variable. For the demo purposes, I'm just showing you. I created a client object called Firehose and using put records. Very, very easy. Not at all complicated. Okay. So again, inserting data rapidly. Again, you know, simulating uh, as if someone is producing messages. Not yet. Still hasn't delivered data yet. Now I can see the data finally in the data section. And here you see all the data. So everything is nicely partitioned. So now I can download one of them, right? And show you. Now you can run your glue crawlers on the top of that, you know, do all the magic that you were supposed to do. So now Notepad++. And here you can see all the data beautifully uh, delimited by new lines, all the JSON data, right? This is generated by the faker. I hope you really have enjoyed these tutorials and the videos. And if you did enjoy these videos, let me know in the comment section below. I would be very, very happy uh, to read your positive comments. That's the only thing that motivates me and uh, allows me to work after my work hours to create some amazing contents for you. So I, ho I hope you appreciate all my hard work. And with that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. Next video, we'll explore Lambda transformation with Firehose. Okay. So with that being said, uh, I'll see you guys in the upcoming next video. Thank you.